Hi folks, my name is Ian Baker, I'm the product specialist at American RV. Today we're going to go over the Springdale 286. Okay, this is going to be a nice uh, fifth wheel bunkhouse, going to be easily towable by a lot of half ton trucks out there. Why don't we go ahead and start taking a look at some of the external features. One of the things I want to show you right up front here, okay, something very unique that they did on this coach is they're gonna have your propane tanks right up front in your front storage, all right? That way it's gonna be easy access, easy transfer over, and then of course you'll also have your battery box up there as well. So one of the other big advantages of that, okay, what that does for you, is it's gonna give you a little more storage on the side here, okay? They'll have the storage on both sides where those propane tanks would have been, all right? Gotta love that. And then, next to that, we'll have excellent pass-through storage. Okay, you can see it's gonna go all the way through, finished floor on there. All right, plenty of space for ladders, chairs, anything else you need to bring with you. You're also gonna have your awning here. Okay, it is gonna be a power awning. You'll see that's gonna uh, span quite a distance here, and it's also gonna have the speakers that are gonna be built into the awning. All right, that way as your awning comes out, the speakers will be pointing down. Uh, that way your music, instead of blaring out at your neighbors, is gonna come right down on your campsite right where you want it. Also, okay, as we move back on the coach, we'll see we're gonna have a couple uh, uh, nice things in this cluster area here. All right, we'll have our TV mount. So that way if you wanna take the TV from inside, put it outside, you can put it right there, sit right underneath your awning, perfect spot. Okay, of course we'll have to have electrical hookup for that, and then our cable hookup there as well. Also, you're gonna have your outside shower, okay, your utility shower right here. I really enjoy that, because instead of having to go all the way around the co uh, coach, if you wanna wash your feet off before you go in, maybe you just came back from the beach, it's nice and convenient to have it right here so you can spray and head on in. Um, again, I, I like that that's there. You're also gonna have the correct track alignment system on here. So what that does for you, okay, is over time, uh, studies have shown that your um, axles will actually get unaligned, okay, which is gonna create a lot of unnecessary uneven tire wear. So the correct track system is nice and easy. You can bring it in. It's easy click and change and adjust to get your axles so they're gonna be in line for you. Also, as we move further back the coach, okay, not only do we have good storage up front, but if you take a look here, you're gonna get excellent storage in the back as well. Look at that, okay, there, there will be access from inside. When I, I'll show you when we go inside, the bottom bunk does lift up and you can, get, you can get down in there. Speaking of, why don't we go ahead and head in now. We're in the kitchen of the Springdale 286. One of the things I wanna point out to you is how much counter space you get. Okay, a lot, ton of countertop space here, a lot of space in the back too, which is great. You know, if you wanna have a drying rack off to the side, just dish soap and everything in the back. And, and that whole time, you're gonna get a very large single bowl sink. Okay, I really like the single bowl sinks because it allows you to get a larger pot or pan in here. Then you still have plenty of room for the handle without having it tilt up on its side, okay? So I love having that, and of course, high-rise faucet on here in order to make dishes a little bit easier. Down below, okay, underneath the sink, we're going to have a nice spice rack here. Okay, you'll have storage underneath there, great place for a trash can. And then to the side, okay, you do get a drawer there. All right, great silverware drawer, nice location for it. Up top, above the sink, okay, you'll get um, great storage space. All right, over to the side, We'll have our microwave, okay, storage here, fully functional hood with a light and vent. We'll have a three burner stove top, okay, it's gonna be the Atwood stove top with your conventional oven here. All right, and again, more countertop space with a bank of three drawers, all right? Now one of the things I, I really like too, underneath the drawers right here, okay, we're gonna have a central vac. So you just open it up, you can plug your hose in right there, and that'll help you to clean out the coach, okay? Also, of course, we're gonna have our fridge and freezer combo. All right, plenty of space in there for you. Good storage up top. And a much needed pantry to the side, okay? That's a really deep pantry. I know sometimes it's hard to capture in video, but you get a ton of pantry space there, okay? And again, on the bottom, all right? Great, great storage. And like I say, a lot of storage in that galley. Now in the back here, we're gonna have both of our bunks, all right? They're going to um, have plenty of space. They're gonna be uh, what they call a double wide bunk, okay, and 300 pound weight limits on here, okay? So, you know, if you wanna sleep two children on there, you absolutely can.
All right, they'll both have a light, top and bottom. And then you also get an excellent wardrobe in the back with a hanging rod to hang clothes, as well as a shelf underneath. All right. Now the dinette, okay, I like the dinette system. You get good storage on both sides, all right? You're gonna have doors that open up. You'll have storage all the way back. And then you're also gonna have a, a dinette table, okay? It's gonna be freestanding so this can move out. So what I really like about the freestanding table, okay, is if uh, you're not sitting at the table, you can actually take this over to the couch. You can drop this down, it'll um, make into a nice coffee table as well. All right, so it's gonna be very versatile, nice wide um, dinette here, plenty of space for the family. Okay, you're gonna have this beautiful light fixture here, nice big picture window right outside the dinette. And then to the side of that, we'll have, again, nice large window and uh, our couch, all right? Now the couch will fold out into a bed, so you do get an extra bed here. Again, the dinette will drop down, okay? So you, you have plenty of sleeping in this fifth wheel. You get some storage up top, all right, which is always a great thing. Again, another light here, a couple of windows, all right, lets in a lot of uh, light and creates a cross breeze. Now also, you're going to get your entertainment center and it will come with a 29 inch TV. Okay, you'll have that TV, you'll get your sound bar here and great storage all the way throughout. Here's gonna be your hookups. All right, you have storage underneath as well as on the sides, and then of course on top as well. Great storage in here. All right guys, why don't we go ahead and take a walk up. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. In the bathroom you'll see, okay, we have our medicine cabinet with a mirror on there. Beneath that we'll have our vanity, of course a couple plugins, storage space. We'll have our stool in the corner so we have lots of leg room. And then of course we'll have our shower with a shower door glass enclosure. Now as you'll notice there's going to be plenty of room in here, skylight, and then you'll have your shower wand as well. Next to the shower of course you're going to have a linen closet. Again great storage there. Okay, you can fit plenty of towels and everything else that you're gonna need. All right, why don't we go take a look at the bedroom. In the bedroom of the 286, we're gonna have our queen bed. Okay, um, on either side of that, you will have a window, as well as some excellent storage, both above the bed and to the sides. Great wardrobe space and also a couple of drawers. Now something to note, the bedroom is gonna have ducted AC as well as ducted heat. All right guys, thanks for joining me. Again, this was the Springdale 286. If you're looking for a lightweight fifth wheel bunk house, okay, it's gonna, this one's gonna offer plenty of storage for you. And again, easily towable. It's only gonna weigh a little under 7,700 pounds. So most of your half ton trucks are gonna be able to tow it. If you do have any other questions or you'd like the best price on one, please either give myself, Ian Baker, or one of the other amazing sales consultants here at American RV a call. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks and have a great day.